So you want to track the progress of your revenue month over month in a monday.com dashboard and just don't know how to do it. Let me walk you through this easy tutorial that shows you how you can set up a dashboard and the proper column so that way you can easily track your revenue month over month. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. In order to track revenue month over month using a chart widget, obviously the information needs to be entered in your monday.com board. So let me show you how I set this board up and how we're able to pull the information for a dashboard. So as you can see here, I have a group January, 2024. I have a list of clients and I have a list of what their monthly fee is. Then if you scroll down, you can see that I have January, 2023 with a list of their monthly fee and it goes on and on. So this board has each group be a different month and which it, within each month is the revenue that has been received for that month. Just to show you another way to do this, if you don't want to divide everything by group, but let's say you want to have a group of paid versus build or something else, you can also have a date. So you can just like pick a day of when things were paid. Um, and that can also be used. I'm going to go back and show you here. I'll just do one in January and one in February, and I will go show you when we build the chart widget. So what you're going to do is click on this plus button and I'm going to add a blank view, which allows me to add a number of widgets to this dashboard. I'm going to click add widget and I'm going to click chart. Okay. So now you can see a chart automatically popped up. Now I want to track revenue right? And I want to track revenue based on month because I want to see revenue over time. So my bottom X axis here, I want to be month. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the settings and here you see that you have a lot of different charts that you can choose from, but I'm going to stick with this chart and I'm going to go to the X axis and here my X axis, I'm going to change it to be group. So here you can see I have all my groups listed. So I have January, November, October, December, not in order. We'll get to that but you can see that I have all them listed. Now my Y axis right now, the default is counting items. So it just counts literally how many line items are in each group, but I don't want that. I wanna see my monthly fee. So I'm gonna unclick count items and monthly fee. Now I can see that I have $4,900 of revenue in January, in November I have 2,500, October I have 2,500 and you can see exactly what we want month over month, what our revenue is. We're having a sum of this information. You can do average if you want, and you can see how that information changes. Obviously for this example, some makes most sense. You can add a benchmark line. So like, let's say my goal is to get to $5,000. So once I've added in, you can see and I, how close I came to reaching my goal. You can also change the colors by just clicking on the different color that you want. Now, some other settings is how you can sort by. So you can sort by, this is the Y axis is ascending. You can just play around with the different columns until you get the order that you want. And you can also decide to show cumulative data if you want. Last thing that you can do is you can click which group you want. So like, let's say I only want to track 2024. So obviously I would unclick all the groups and I would only have January, 2024. Then as we get to February, so we'll see the next month. Now, just to remind you something that I brought up in the beginning, this board is set up based on group. So each group is a different month and the revenue I'm tracking month over month is by group. Now, another way to do this is to track it by date. So instead of the X axis being group, I'm going to change this to be the pay date. So now you can see that my pay date, remember I put one for January and one for February. So here I have the same exact information divided January and February, and it's based on the date in these columns. Remember I set the date here. So this allows you to have a little bit of 
a different structure for your board. Like if you don't want a group per month, you can do that. Like, let's say you want a group per client. So you know how much your clients paid you over time. You can have the pay date. So you'll have one group per client and then you have the pay date, which will then be the trigger to pull the information into your dashboard. So again, you've achieved the same result of seeing how much revenue you've made month over month. I hope that this was really helpful. If you are interested in also seeing this information in a pie chart, because sometimes that could give you another view of the information in a little bit of a different format. So you just get more insights to your data. Click on this link above to watch that video. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.